So this year has been a little bit peculiar. I'm back with my parents in my last year, which is kind of funny. Basically what happened is me and my girlfriend, we had a place down in Hamilton. She moved out and I didn't want to pay for all of the rent. We are still together. And I figured, hey, commuting from Mississauga to Hamilton's not too bad. I'll commute, I'll be closer to my girlfriend this way. I'll be able to run my business. So <laughs> that was kind of another hurdle. Um, I started a real estate business in the middle of the summer with a lot of help from a mentor. That's been going pretty well recently. Adding that on top of the stuff that I have to do for school is um, I have basically stopped doing all engineering related extracurriculars to make sure that my business survives. It has paid off so far. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run over to the University of Toronto in Mississauga because I live pretty close to there. And actually the other day I ran into somebody at the University of Toronto and they kind of just looked at me and they were like, and then they took out their phone and they started texting really seriously. I think they recognized me from YouTube. So if I'm ever at the University of Toronto, Mississauga, UTM, and you see me there, yes, that's me. I go there to study sometimes. Uh, so don't be afraid to say hi. I'm friendly. That was a very strange interaction, but you know, I'll still say hi. Um, I'm, I'm always happy to chat. So let's go on a little bit of an adventure. All right, boys, we're gonna ride the whip. I'm on my tricycle, as I like to call it. Man, if a lot of stuff like actually stayed in these day in the life videos, it'd look really weird. <laughs> All right, it's kind of occurred to me that like iPhones are stupid good at this. Like, how is this better than my camera's exposure? I don't, I don't understand. Look, I'm a U of T student. <laughs> It's Wednesday. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Ah! My Wednesdays are always really crazy. Nine hours of class in 10 hours of real time. I'm teaching at 2.30, so by the time I get there, I've been in class for like five or six hours already. So yeah, my Wednesdays are difficult as hell. All right, it's cold today. There are many problems with these day in the life videos. It's that getting up in the morning and leaving the house is the easiest part to film. <laughs> and then after that, it goes downhill. <sighs> All right, I'm not gonna say too much more other than I will see you in Hamilton. I really like this street in Hamilton because it's got like a whole bunch of really cute old houses. But I park really far away from campus and then I walk 20 minutes to campus because there's a three hour parking zone, but nobody ever checks it. So, <laughs> so it's more like all day parking for free. Is it good use of time to walk 20 minutes each way to campus? Probably not. I have more time than money right now. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna use it and it's relaxing. I can like listen to music or something. to call this building the Gulag. Okay, lab is done. It's really loud. I'm gonna go get some coffee at uh, MDCL. <laughs> Shout out to MDCL and LR Wilson. Yeah, I'm going to wait for all of this.
12 hours on campus. All right, walking back to the car. Just got out of my last class, 5.30. I hate 5.30 to 6, it's like the worst time to have a class. I got a call from my clients while I was TAing and have been informed that they're happy with the home inspection report which came in and that they are very, very close to getting financing. And we still have tomorrow and Friday um, for them to get that cleared up. It's looking good. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, it's been a pretty good day. I'm having some like really weird stress. Definitely mostly from the deal, not so much from school, but. All right, I just have to point something out. This silly little navigation thing told me to go on the highway and sit in traffic. And that map, it says 37 minutes now. It used to say 43. I just saved myself six minutes. What is this navigation finding BS? <laughs> Come on, man. How is it that I know better than Google? Welcome back home, me and everybody else watching there. And I actually don't really like driving to school that much. The bus takes the Highway 407, which is a toll highway that decided to exist in Canada because the government sold it in the 90s. And it's much cheaper to take the bus and do that. And it's much faster. I'm not tired from having to focus on driving, so I have extra study time. I had lots of classes today. Predictive and intelligent control. Scientific computation, which is just like, ah. Oh. Man, that course is hard. You guys probably don't care what I'm learning, do you? <laughs> it's Thursday, and thank God, because Wednesdays suck. <laughs> Today I'm gonna go to the gym, I'll try and record some stuff. All right, vlog squad just got a haircut. <laughs> yeah, and the buses are still striking today. Yeah, I guess we'll be at school till like five or six again, which is just like, Mwah. I don't like it, but oh well. You gotta do what you gotta do. I'm back, baby. Not gonna lie, most of these days are pretty repetitive. You can see I'm still wearing the red sweater. <laughs> I realized that most videos where I'm wearing the red sweater do good, like thumbnail wise. So I think I might put the red sweater in more thumbnails. It's a more poppin' color. This haircut kind of makes me look like I'm 12. <laughs> Just finished my last class. I have some really funny people in this class. I will throw up the picture <laughs> that Jonathan drew of me. It's really, really think it represents me pretty nicely. Uh, um, I'm wearing an Aurea hat. Hey, that's my brokerage. Look at them. Nice. What are they doing all the way out here? <laughs> the moon doesn't look nearly as good on camera, <laughs> but it looks pretty cool. So I thought it'd be kind of interesting to show you guys how I'm studying this year. Um, let's take a look. I usually have my laptop either over here or over there. That's a new laptop too, by the way. It's really good. Asus ROG G15 or something like that. That is like this editing console thing that I bought with my software that I haven't used. <laughs> Uh, keyboard mouse for this big computer. I unfortunately don't get to use this as much as I would like because I'm traveling to school, so it just makes sense to keep everything here. This is also another vibe sometimes. I'll just plug this into the monitor and then close this a little bit so that I can keep my head up straight. <laughs> what up? So I have a showing and then I'm gonna be driving down to McMaster in Hamilton to do my one class and tutorial, great use of gas money for that. But I'm going to the TTC station in Kipling so I can go see my girlfriend who lives in Toronto. It's the weekend, I have a call tomorrow with a new potential client. One of my friend's sisters actually called the brokerage and it's really funny. Fun stuff is happening. The next station is Christie. 
Just saw the GF, now it's back home time. <laughs> uh, great little part of Toronto. Um, fun times, miss my GF. Wish I could see her more. Thus is the life of living at home with your parents for a little while. Kind of funny that in the four and a bit years that we've known each other, this is the first time that we're both living with our parents. <laughs> so, uh, a little bit of a change, but that's okay. And then I'm showing a $4 million house tomorrow. Don't get to do that too often. Not my client, but, uh, you know, maybe one of these days I'll have my own $4 million client. So that'd be pretty cool. $4 million morning. <laughs> Do I look ready to show a four million dollar house? Yeah, why not? <laughs> this house is crazy. This is just the basement. All right, I'm pulling out the phone for this one. <laughs> I just got a second signed offer this week. It's still in conditional period and it will be until Friday and I'm going to a real estate conference tomorrow and it's in the same condo corporation, the same one. Oh my god, what are the odds? What are the odds? Oh, also, I was thinking of what to do with my uh, absolutely disgusting business cards. <laughs> Look at this picture. It's so bad. Um, I want to get rid of them. So I was thinking of maybe making a video where I try to hand out a thousand business cards in one day. It'll cost me like 200 bucks because it's not cheap to get these printed. They will be gone and I can use them on a much better photo. If you want to talk business of any kind, email me down below, oliverfootbusiness at gmail.com. Real estate, YouTube, anything. All right, we are going to put the deposit to the other brokerage. This is like the second time I'm doing this in two weeks, which is pretty legit. I got this cool red light from the brakes of the other car. <laughs> Tomorrow's the home inspection in the middle of the conference, so I have to miss lunch, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Probably just order myself some Subway and yeah. Okay, bye, gotta go. Hello, YouTube. I <laughs> feel like this video deserves a little bit of an update. Yes, that deal fell through, unfortunately. Things happen. I am almost done school, technically done one course, which is my capstone course. Really unfortunate that deal fell through because that was, that like killed me with stress. Um, like absolutely the most stressful thing I've been through in a short while. I went to get a stabby stab stab and uh this ended up happening not great reaction that's the price you gotta pay to make sure you don't get sick let me know what you thought of the video don't forget to like subscribe leave me a comment down below telling me what you thought and i'll catch you in the next one thanks so much for watching